What's up guys, I am back again with another video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we are checking out Watch Cat Williams Expose the Illuminati 2016. So I want to get right into this because it didn't come out too long ago before the new year started. And let's see what happens. First of all, let's be very, very clear. It is possible that there isn't anything funnier than a guy in a dress. And if that's the case, then it might also be said that there's nothing funnier than a black guy in a dress. Okay, well, I watched all of my friends throughout my entire life be able to dunk a basketball, but not me. So everybody can't do everything. So, you know, some of us make choices. I think it's not the biggest choice um, for others. I'm saying, um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long life of dress wearing people before him. So now, we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. I've never seen a deer in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. So now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin? Because it was his turn next. Dang, he's telling the truth though, huh? You know, you, you had that, like, I looked at everything. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because, no, no, no I, I do. Yeah. I saw this period between November 2012 and January 2013. Yeah. He's writing about that. There's been so many, like, black celebrities who, like, wear dressed like your Medea. Martin Lawrence, there's, there's a couple others you can name, and they always like even like a YouTubers like Trey Melvin, like it's seen as like the norm. Like, if you don't wear a dress or a wig, like you're I don't know. It, I mean, it's a funny thing, I guess. I guess it's what makes it funny. It it dehuman it, it, it demasculate it, it makes a man not masculine anymore. I don't know. But Dave Chappelle, I know a couple years ago. Uh, producer asked him to do like something like similar to it, like wearing a dress for his a part of his skit for a show. And he was like, "No, I'm not gonna do it." And he ended up not doing it. So uh, Cat Williams, I guess, is right about that. How how the industry works. Lot of Oh, shit. Um, well, it doesn't matter what type of driver you are and how well you've driven this car for the last six hours. If you take your eyes off the road for one second, that pole is going to negate all the rest of your beautiful driving. Exactly, they 
Dave Chappelle has never been a part of the Illuminati. They don't want him or me or people like us. Um, but now it's not uh, necessary for us to store up that hornet's nest unless we intend to get stoned a million times. So I didn't understand that. They had to sting me a million times. I'm still not going to join, but I respect them a little more. And, and, and tell us that lesson because I think they need and want to hear it. Well, I'm saying I'm in a I'm in a weird position as a person in Hollywood. I'm saying anyway, uh, just because of the amount of, of truth that I will tell and the fact that I take joy in it. And um, <laughs> there there's no way that you can tell that much truth without offending certain portions of the population. Because they don't know how to. Be. No, not because they don't know how. But well, with all due respect, don't they don't know how to. They got a club work. So they ain't had a club Now everybody in here done been in the line and seen all them people in the line, heard all that music, and could have sworn. All right, let's read what it says. It says, again, Cat loves to speak in metaphors. He is alluding to the industry and how it looks nice from the outside, but once you get in, it's not all fun and games like you thought. So there's levels to this shit, okay. Hopping in there, and then you get in there and find out it's you and 11 pieces. <laughs> now, they made you pay your cover at the door for a reason before you could get in there and see what it was like and what was really going on. So they make these you people, to do. these god fearing people, they make these people check their soul at the door. It's soul on the hole. So now I just slipped through because they thought I had already been stamped because they saw the perm and thought he's not money. <laughs> You can barely hear the fucked up shit that could possibly happen to you. They just possible side effects are. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's weird. I can see my reflection in the screen. Pretty good. Don't be afraid, be aware. There's a big difference and stay lighthearted and don't be afraid to laugh. They cannot harm you if God is protecting you. Don't let them win. Dang. Dang, that's deep. First of all, 
So he's basically, basically what they're saying is that it's really hard to like, like you can't let them win. Basically, you you have to really think like, I guess like if you're no if you're famous, I guess if you just stay away from them and do your own thing, you don't really have to be a part of them. Just don't talk down on it. I guess like. Don't necessarily lie, but don't tell the truth either. Just kind of like do your own thing, I guess. How is it that the most talented comedian in Hollywood is nowhere near the most successful? He said, why are there still monkeys? Oh, they just haven't turned into monkeys just yet. Get your stupid ass the fuck out of here. <laughs> stupid. There was a reason they couldn't let you hear because they have the audio. The audio is with the visual. It's not even separate. Oh. They had to bleep that before they showed it. Because if you hear what I'm saying, what he's saying to me, you would say, why haven't they punched him yet? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm saying, but I wasn't smart enough at the time to realize this dude's trying to make me punch him. I'm not familiar with that. Where does that come from? Where you can, where you want me to punch you for hey, your benefit? benefit. And understand, I understand I'm not connected to that. I'm, hey, you can still walk up on me. Because the medicine commercials have really gone over the top. They don't even give a fuck about us as people any motherfucking more. Do you remember when they used to at least have the common decency to whisper the side effect at the end of the... I hope that, you know, with the Illuminati and things like that, if you're going to be a star, just kind of like, you know, if they offer you something, just, you know, like, it's up to you if you decide to go that route. But I think that if you're a star, I, personally, if I was a star, I wouldn't take the route, but I would do what they, you know, I would, like, if I have to deal with these people because I'm at this level, I just do what they say and just, you know, but I wouldn't agree to be like affiliated with them or working with them. But like if they want me to keep some things down a download that I know about, then I just keep it down low. Because I mean, hell, as long as you just don't talk about what they do, then you should be fine, right? Um, only if it's, I guess, really, really harming people to a certain extent to where that it's killing people. Yeah, I guess. But... Uh, that's pretty crazy, man. Uh, this video is insane. Uh, I hate this stuff kind of scares me just thinking about it. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and uh, peace.